Hello and welcome. This is day 22. A family reconciled. A devout servant of St. Joseph recently wrote these touching words. St. Joseph has just granted a special favour to our family. At the time of my mother's death, a distressing event brought our family trouble and dissension. One of my sisters found herself not only wronged, but dishonoured. After a violent argument, all ties were broken and the two parties no longer wished to see or to speak to one another. Both sides said repeatedly that any attempt at reconciliation would be useless. And in fact, all attempts in this direction proved fruitless. With a broken heart, I appealed to St. Joseph. You are the advocate of hopeless cases, I said. If you grant my request, I promise for a full year to pay a visit each day to your statue at the end of the garden and make known publicly the grace that you have granted me. St. Joseph made me wait, but I never stopped pestering him about it. Everyone told me to resign myself to my cross, since all hope seemed lost. I decided to make a last effort. I wrote to my sister and her husband, quoting the words of our Lord in the Gospel about the forgiveness of insults and the love of enemies. I then went and placed my letter at the foot of our good Saint Joseph, beseeching him to bless it, to accompany it and to soften their hearts. Oh, the wonderful goodness of this great saint, my sister and her husband, who until then had resisted every attempt at reconciliation, were won over. They went to meet the person who had insulted them. This very person, because of her age and her social standing, should have been the one to take the first step. She was dumbfounded when my brother-in-law called on her and very gently asked her to read my letter, then extended his hand, assuring her that what was past was past, and that he desired nothing but the re-establishment of close family ties. They embraced each other tenderly, and from that moment on, everything changed. All animosity disappeared. No negative thoughts or guilty feelings remained. The following Sunday, the whole family was reunited for a meal. It was unbelievable. It seemed like a dream. I was congratulated for my perseverance in praying to St. Joseph and one of the parties involved, whose faith had unfortunately grown weak, was not afraid to proclaim loudly that this was indeed a miracle. Since then, there is no longer any dissension among us. Instead, our hearts are joined in loving union. Praise and blessings to our good Saint Joseph. Prayer for our family. Great Saint Joseph, you were chosen by God to be the head of the Holy Family. Kindly look down upon us and bestow your fatherly protection upon our home. Model of the most lively faith, obtain for all the members of our family the grace to believe firmly in what God has revealed and to bear witness to our faith in all that we do. May we ever remain bound together by the ties of true Christian love in the unity of the Holy Catholic Church and taste the peace that Jesus has promised his true disciples. Grant that we may all love one another as children of God and work together for the salvation of souls in order to fulfill our role in the great family of the church and be reunited after this life in the happiness of heaven. Amen.
model of sanctity in family life. Families who wish to be Christian should resort to the patronage of St. Joseph. In this, they will receive very special help in order to realise their noble ideal. Pope Benedict XV writes, Joseph leads us directly to Mary, and Mary leads us to the source of all holiness, to Jesus, who has consecrated family virtues by his own submission to Joseph and Mary. Thus, our desire to see all Christian families renewed by modelling themselves upon such beautiful examples of virtue. In this way, when the human community rests upon the foundation of the family, the day that the domestic social unit shall acquire more stability, when conjugal sanctity, harmony and fidelity shall be safeguarded more religiously, at that very instant shall be seen a new kinship, like a new force, spread across all the members of the human society, and the virtue of Christ penetrate into its very depths. That day we shall see flower, not only the reform of personal morals, but also the reform of social and national life. These are words to meditate on. They reveal to us the secret of the intercession and the influence of St. Joseph. He works together with Mary and Jesus. He has his very own powerful influence, but he is likewise the mediator of the incomparable flow of graces which emanates from Mary, his spouse, and of the graces which flow from the source of all graces, Jesus, his adopted son. If he is invoked as a noble head of the Holy Family, he acts in this capacity. His action is, so to speak, reinforced by Mary's and carries with it the all-powerful action of Jesus. Such is the union of the three persons within the Holy Family that it would be impossible to separate their manner of operating. Joseph, as the head, represents the family in its entirety and from this position his intervention seems decisive to us. Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Ora pro nobis, ora pro nobis, Holy Mary. Offspring of David, pray for us. Light of the patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the mother of God, pray for us. Chaste guardian of the virgin, pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God, pray for us. Zealous defender of Christ, pray Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Ora pro nobis, ora pro nobis. Joseph most just, pray for us. Joseph most chaste, pray for us. Joseph most prudent, pray for us. Joseph most Joseph most obedient, pray for us. Joseph most faithful, pray for us. Ora pro.
Nobis, ora pro nobis, mira patience, pray for us, lover of poverty, pray for us, model of workmen, pray for us, glory of domestic life, pray for us, guardian of earth, Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church, pray for us. Ora pro nobis, ora pro God who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. He has made him Lord of his household and kings over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your holy mother, grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. In honor of Saint Joseph, let us do all in our power to establish peace and stability in our families by practicing the necessary virtues of charity, obedience, patience, meekness and of course forgiveness. <laughs>